we're not open yet. Have the hot and curries arrived? For goodness sake, Mandy, they're still parceled up inside. Well, shake yourself then. I'm all in a hurry. Mother, turn us both damn shreddies on top of my dry shirt. Be the end of the world, will that then? I can't stand much more of this place. When are we moving out? After breakfast, I'll get out my magic wand and rustle us up a penthouse flat somewhere. Will you be wanting the jacuzzi en suite? Yeah, I think you've been a bit ungrateful. I mean, Mr Turner and Terry have been kind putting us up like this. Just think what the alternative was. The council rehousing us in some grotty B&B. &B. And what's this? Stop whinging and start pulling your weight. I'm making a special thank you tea tonight for Alan and Terry so you can lend a hand. Mother. Your cooking is more like a flaming punishment, not a thank you. I've, uh, I've been out for a jog. There's fresh tea in the pot. Oh, tell. Uh, I was going to make a tea tonight for you and Alan. Any special requests? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out. I've got to go up to Sugden's, uh, talk to Jack about young Will's training. Oh. We're not open yet. I need not in courier. Don't see what difference ten minutes is going to make. Well, uh, the early bird catches the worm. Brilliant! What's the good news? Over a dozen people have died not in this week. We're not open yet. Oh, it's all right. What can I do for you, Zoe? Take Kelly home. Mm. It's not as easy as that. She's got to want to come home. Well, you better do something, because much as I like your daughter, she's driving me mad. I haven't got any privacy. The more pressure I put on her, the more she'll run in the opposite direction. You could at least talk to her, like you said you would. You got yourself into this mess by offering to put her up. That's an emergency measure. Now I want her out. Sorted out your body snatching, then. Mm, I'm offering a service. Look, these folk that have people buying them, they could do with some cash in hand for like funerals and that. Oh, I know. You're regular Mother Teresa, aren't you? But all I'm doing is buying clothes at a fair price that people don't need anymore. Yeah, well, don't let on to Ashley that you're still fleecing the bereaved. He'll do his nut. Well, it's none of his business anyway. Is it not? Well, it's him that has to cope with people's upset after folk like you have arrived on the doorstep. I know what all this is about, Paddy. You just can't stand to see me make a success of something. You're jealous. Ridiculous. I'm just concerned about the principle of the thing. Oh, don't talk to me about principles. What about your little visit to see Lady Tara today? I'm sure you'll be chiselling money from her. For the sum of fair, yeah, but I don't personally gain anything. The only reason you're putting effort in is so that everyone will say what a great bloke you are. But it's you that got me into this. Hey, up. Here comes Bo to see you back from the battlefront. And me. Hi, Betty. Nice holes. I'm a new woman. I've been pampered like never before. It's good to hear you enjoyed yourself. You deserved a good break. Has uh, Seth been behaving himself? Uh, of course. Tiddled every night, then. I suppose you could say he had his uh, holiday of choice and all. Hey, don't you dare say a word to Seth, but uh, I've really missed him. I don't begrudge him a bit. <laughs> this should be a laugh. What? Well, I went round to Seth yesterday and Betty's going to go mad. Why? Just wait. Welcome home, love. <laughs> oh, Seth. You filthy hound! In two short weeks, you've turned this house into a slum! It just needs a woman's touch. I'll give you a woman's touch round the back of your head. Oh. If you think I'm going to clear this mess up, you are sadly mistaken. Well, I'm not going to do it. By heck you are, lad. As soon as you get back from work, you can put matters right. I've a right to go to Wolpac. Until this house is spotless, you don't even go out onto the front doorstep. You haven't lifted a finger round this house since I left. You're going to be late. Come on, oh, I'll give you a lift out to the quarry. I'd rather you didn't. Why? Look. I just want to keep you and James completely separate from my life at the quarry. What's going on, Steve? Nothing. Is that why you're suddenly being so secretive? Kim, I'm not hiding anything from you. Don't you think I've learnt my lesson? OK. Then why did you go to the Woolpack last night? For goodness sake, I just went for a few drinks, that's all. But believe me, after a dusty day at the quarry, a few pints is a godsend. 
I'll see you later. Okay. See you, James. I bet you a pound Lady Tara says yes. I thought Vickers weren't meant to gamble. I'm sorry, I'm just worried we've asked for too much. Well, if she says no, we can always try a compromise. Look, I think you should do all the talking. You're the one with all the fundraising experience. That's for the church. That's sort of different. I feel a calling for that. You're the chairman of the committee. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder what I've taken on. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Why don't be so nervous, chaps? You're going to fleece the local business community. You'll have to sell yourselves better than this. Uh, this year's show is going to be bigger and better than ever before. Uh, we've got this uh, fantastic late night music event. Paddy. Performers, uh, street theatre. I'll underwrite the whole event. Stop me. <laughs> Oh, it's all been going on while you were away. What? Kathy's closed the tea rooms. Gonna be one of those days, is it? Just wanted a friendly word. Oh, that'd be novel. Kelly, I'm missing you. We all are. Feeling guilty, you mean? Look, the only reason I didn't tell you what really happened to your mum was I didn't want you to get upset. No, you lied to me because you're a coward. Look, you can't stay here forever, you know. And why not? Ever thought you might be taking advantage of Zoe's generosity? She needs her space, you know. Oh, nice try, Dad. For your information, Zoe really enjoys having me around. Kelly, give me a chance. Let's all have a fresh start, eh? Together. Sorry. You can live that if you want. Count me out. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth about your mama till now. It's not just that. It's everything. You and Viv are a sham. She hates you. I hate her. Our family is a complete mess. That's not true. Me and Viv, we've, we've done a lot more talking recently. I really think if we all make an effort to give and take a bit more, We'd make a great team. Don't worry, Paddy. My dad's going. Breaking my heart here, Kelly. It's now you know how it feels. <sighs> All right, baby. Um, about last night. Yeah, uh, I know what you're going to say, and I agree. Let's just pretend that it never happened, eh? Who threw my clothes out of the laundry basket? I'm sorry, I think it was one of my two. They are strewn all over the room. Like I said, I'm sorry. Two pints, please, Terry. Oh, drinking on duty, eh, Vicky? Paddy and I have got something to celebrate. We've got a new sponsor for the fair. We've been a bit thrown in a tenner, haven't we? Actually, we've got a local firm to underwrite the entire event. Who put the money up? Sorry, Alan, it's a private matter between us and the other committee members. Uh, we do need your help, though, Alan. Uh, Wanda, could you do the necessary for arranging the beer tents, drink slices? You've got a cheek. Oh, come on, Alan, it's for the good of the village. You come in here, rub my nose in it, and then expect me to do you a favour. I know it's not a very Christian sentiment, but get stuffed. <laughs> Paddy, I never apply to join the diplomatic corps. I'm sorry, Terry. It was just in the heat of the moment. Last thing I need is more complications. Aye, well, uh, me too. I bet you're even keener to get shut of us now. Well, uh, I'd hate to see you put out somewhere unsuitable. Oh? Let's just say... I'm more used to having you around. Well, Cathy Glover, I never had you down as a quitter. I'm really sorry about your job, Betty, but I can't take any more from Pollard. It's ground me down to the point I'm ill with it. You can't let that scheming swine win. You're not listening to me. I'm not sleeping. I'm having panic attacks. My shoulders are so knotty with stress and agony. Then see a doctor, but don't you dare pack your business in. What's the point? 
point in prolonging this? Now, just you listen to me, young lady. I've seen you work your socks off to build them tea rooms into a success. It'd be a tragedy if you threw it all away because of a bully like Pollard. Betty, he is not going to stop until he's won. Oh, yes, he is, because deep down, Pollard is a coward. And as soon as he sees you're not backing down, he'll crumble. Well, I wish I could share your confidence. Well, I'm not going to let you give in. So come on, shape yourself, get some makeup on. Let's you and me go and out. No. <sighs> what do you think? What's it made of? Chocolate? 1920 Swiss, and it's worth ten times what I paid for it. Where'd you get this from? Oh, just a little house clearance they organised. <laughs> That's impossible. I got my finger on the pulse. There's nothing much going on at the moment. Mm, then you've not been reading your death notices, have you, Eric? Ah. So that's your game. I wondered how you'd beat me to it the other day. You know, it's a desperate trader who lures themselves to read the death notices. Well, it was you that gave me the idea weeks ago. Hey, I wouldn't stoop so low. Ball's in your court, Eric. I share my information with you, and you give me a spot in your bar. If you think I'm giving half my building to you, you must be mad. Choice is yours. Meanwhile, you can say goodbye to your cheapest source of cut price antiques. Bye. Next time, no. I want a quiet word. I'm busy. I saw what you were up to last night. I know what you're talking about. I think you don't play games. That York Stone you're stealing, then flogging on. What do you want? I want in. Look, I've got contacts in London. They pay a hell of a lot more for that stone than you're getting now. How do I know you're not trying to set us up? Because I'm broke. I need the money. And I've got more reasons than any of you to screw it out of home farm. I don't like you, Margins. And I don't trust you. I don't know what you're up to, but keep your nose out of my business and keep your mouth shut. Hi. I was just walking home for lunch and I saw you got your open sign up again. Well done, you. No, well done, Betty, for talking some sense into me. <laughs> now, don't you put yourself down. I'm not surprised you was feeling battle scarred. Yes, Pollard can be relentless when he sets in for the kill. Well, I'll tell you some up for now. While I'm around, he won't be winning the war. <laughs> Throw us a dust and I'll help you tidy up a bit. Oh, thanks, Rachel. You know, it's nice to know I've got such good friends supporting me. <laughs> Which is more than Pollard can say. Good to see Cathy hasn't thrown in the towel just yet. <laughs> Hello, Biff. How are you? Never mind me. I want to know if you've worn that jacuzzi out. Oh, <laughs> wait. I had a smashing time. But, uh, how are things going between you and Lady Tara? Oh, will you give over, Bay? We're just having a bit of fun, that's all. You never know. It could get serious. Don't hold your breath. Well, you don't know. One thing leads to another. I could be standing with the next Lord Biff. And I think that you're getting a bit ahead of yourself. <laughs> Well, that Lady Tara would be daft if she didn't fancy you. Are you thinking of setting up the Biff Fowler fan club? Done it years ago, Petal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you want? Cup of tea? A kind word? You'll get neither from me. <sighs> ah! Got over your illness, have you? <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you. Good, I'm so pleased. And I hope you've got rid of that ridiculous notion that I was somehow trying to force you out of here. Of course. I know you've only got my best interests at heart, Eric. But you don't have to worry about me from now on. The tea rooms are well and truly back in business. Splendid. Oh, here you go. Put your feet up. Oh, mm. thanks. Got a visit from my dad today. What's that about? Oh, get this. They think I'm abusing your hospitality. Cheek. They don't even know about me cleaning and doing washing up and stuff. All right. Well, he wants me to move back home. Fat chance. Well, somehow he don't understand. Well, 
you and I were sharing. <coughs> For now. What does that mean? Well, this was only supposed to be a temporary arrangement until you found somewhere. Look, <coughs> I saw this in the uh, courier. House Sharon Hotton, fourth girl needed. I don't want to live in Hotton. Kelly, I asked your dad to have a word with you. Oh, thanks a lot, Zoe. Well, you can't stay here forever. Well, I thought we got on. We do, it's just... Oh. Look, it's just we need different things. I am not a teenager. I value my privacy and I, I'm not very good at sharing. You shared with Sophie. I get it. You're upset because I haven't given you any rent in kind. How dare you? Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you shouldn't have gone beyond my back to Dad. I want you out of the house by the end of the month. And if you want to keep your job, don't you ever talk to me like that again. If you hate me that much, then I'm stay in another four weeks. I don't hate you. Let's just try and act like adults. I'll pack my bags. Makes it easy all round. And are you going back to your mum and dad's? What do you think? Oh, Kim. My apologies. It's been such a busy day. I, I meant to button the hole you at the playgroup. Um, I've already paid for a week ahead. Oh, no, 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 it's not that. Uh, you know the mums all take a turn helping out? Uh, yes. We're in a spot. One of the mums is ill. Wondered if you could help out tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, it's impossible. I'm at work. Uh, could you pass me those plants over there, please? Um, problem is, if we don't get an extra pair of hands, we can't open the playgroup for the day. Health and safety and that. So either way, you'll have James at home. Well, isn't there anybody else who could help? We do have a mum and can do the morning, but we're stuck after lunch. OK. I'll rearrange my afternoon appointments. But I'm not very happy about it. It's very short notice. I'm sorry, but what can I do? You are the only mum who hasn't helped out so far. Cheerio. Huh. Oh, Mandy! Oh, oh, hiya! I've been looking for you. I mean, your hand's dropping off already. Is it ever, you know? Kelly, what are you doing? <sighs> Me and Zoe had a row. That woman is so hypersensitive. Oh, you've moved out. Well, I just need a floor for a couple of days to get myself sorted. You won't even know I'm there. Kelly, I'd like to help, but Paddy go ballistic. It's only one room. Oh, some mate you are. Look, don't blame me for you being homeless. Swallow your pride and get back to your mum and dad. Stepmother and dad. Look, be practical. Where else are you going to stop? Oh, don't worry. I'll find somewhere. And you're right. Once you and Paddy are both in there, there's not much room left anyway. <laughs> You're far too liberal. If I had a chauffeur, I'd make him wait in the car. <laughs> but who wants to drink alone? <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye on you. Well, I thought you'd give me the night off. Mmm, richly deserved. I'm talking about Lucy. She told me last night that you were gorgeous. Oh, I? I said you'd do until something better came along. Did you know? Hmm. Why don't we uh, drink these and then retire for the night? Where are you off? Out for half an hour. It's not busy. You can hold a fort. What happens if I get a rush? I work harder. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm going to put one over that nice little cousin of yours. House clearance in Robblesfield. Where'd I beat you to it? What? Oh, 27 Queen Victoria Way. Oh, poor old fella snuffed it two days ago. Nice piece of Clarice Cliff, eh, Eric? This is growing spectacularly tedious. Mandy, I couldn't care less what little trinkets you lay your hands on. Got it for a tenner. I have more important things to do with my time. If you want to rent space in my barn... Oh, then... you won't regret this, Eric! <laughs> Get off! <laughs> I, uh, came to make sure that Kelly and I are still on speaking terms. I don't have any bad feelings at the surgery. Well, this is the last place you should be looking for her. We had a row and Kelly packed her bags and left. So where is she now? Well, she'll find somewhere. Oh, I'm glad you feel so casual about it. Look, don't blame this on me. If you'd sorted out all your family problems, none of this would have happened. Look, I don't care whose fault it was. I just want to know where my daughter's staying. I'm sure she'll find somewhere. I'll let myself out. Look, Zoe's right. She'll stay with Mandy or someone. Yeah, I suppose so. 
Yeah. We might get her back here tonight. Buy you a drink, Roy? What do you want? Sometimes you are so cynical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want? All right. I'm in a fix. Do you let me stay at your place just for a couple of nights? You got an head full of rocks or something? My dad will blow his stuff. Uh, wait, it's months since all that business. You'll have forgotten by now. Look, sorry, Carl. It's a no-go. I love that pint, though. No. Order it yourself. What are you playing at, Kelly? Another pint, please, huh? I think she's left me the right change. Well, you had a lucky escape with Heather's bolognese. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was trying to poison me. Yeah, go easy, Al. Life ain't exactly a bowl of cherries for her at the moment. Well, what's that? Hang of guilt. Well, maybe I've been a bit hard on her, eh? <laughs> well, one does never see. What are you doing in here? Just using the loo. What's the matter with the one upstairs? Lynn's in there. This is a bar, not a public lavatory, and you're underage. Well, sorry, but I was dying to go. Well, from now on, keep out of the bar. Are you sure you're not up to driving? No, I'm over the limit. But we could always go back to our house, watch a video. Marlon's at work, Will's around at her mates. OK, let's live life dangerously. Oh. Go, go. <laughs> Cows stuffed a dozen crisp packets down one at Lady's Lou's. Oh, Betty will love that. Don't worry, I've unblocked it. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for my pit. Night. Uh, but could I, um, could I just have a word? I'm, I'm sorry about the washing and the meal. This is really very difficult. Heather, this situation just cannot continue. What are you saying? Well, as Terry will have told you, we... We both want you to find somewhere else to live ASAP. You and me both, Alan. But it's not that easy. Then you'll have to make a bit more effort. You, you can't stay here forever. Would you kick us out? Well, maybe that would be the incentive that would make you actually find somewhere. Oh, so you're doing us a favour? Stupid of me not to see that. I've been doing you a favour for the last few weeks. Look, I, I, I can help. I maybe could even lend you the money for a deposit or something. You want us out that much? I'm sorry. 